Governor Jennifer Granholm has given what may be considered her last major speech as governor. Stephen Clark is live on Mackinac Island at the 2010 Policy Conference with more. Stephen? You know, Dave, in the seven years I've covered the governor here on Mackinac, I've seen her in all sorts of different kinds of moods. I've seen her happy, I've seen her optimistic, I've seen her angry, I've seen her defiant. But today I saw her being fairly reflective and downright goofy. It has been a tough decade. In fact, it's, you know, some have called this the decade from hell. With that, the governor began her last speech to the Mackinac Policy Conference, maybe her last major speech as governor. And she was clearly in a philosophical mood. Sometimes leadership is planting trees under whose shade you will never sit. And so the efforts that we've been undertaking, at least while I've been governor, um, will we'll have, will bear fruit, will have trees that show shade, but they're, it may appear on another governor's scorecard. The governor was funny at times, reminiscing about her early days being introduced at a national governor's conference. Here is Governor Granholm. She's a rising star in the Democratic Party. She's got a 77% approval rating. Those were the days. But she was also emotional, revealing a rare personal moment with her husband after confronting a long line of unemployed workers. I said, babe, I do not know what we are going to do. We have got hundreds of thousands of people like that guy in Michigan, more than any other state. We've got a generation of people who have had their dignity by working at factories, and these factories are moving. The governor points out she still has six months of work ahead of her, but she is looking forward to one thing. Dan has heard me say this a number of times, that in January of 2011, I look forward to being on a beach with a margarita. The Mackinac Conference is largely attended by business people who don't always agree with the governor's more liberal agenda. Well, in closing... She had a message for them. Whether you have agreed or disagreed with the steps that we have taken, um, know that I think we all share a deep and abiding love for this magical state that is Michigan. God bless you all. Another big event here on Mackinac was the uh, Big Four, the area leaders all in one panel. And people were a little concerned that it might be well, a little boring without the Brooks Patterson, Kwame Kilpatrick dynamic of years past. But it turns out Detroit Mayor Dave Bing. Well, he's actually kind of feisty. We'll show you tonight on Action News at 11. Meantime, reporting from a wet and windy and cold Mackinac Island, Stephen Clark, Channel 7 Action News.